Thank you for listening to the 39th Street Church of Christ Daily Devotional. The devotional today is Keep Smiling or Just Whistle, presented by Jack Williams. Oh, caught me, didn't you? Doing something I enjoy, whistling. You know, I, I love to whistle. Go through the stores whistling, walk down the street whistling. My wife always tells me, says, I don't worry about losing you in a store because I know if I can't find you, I just wait and I listen, and I'll hear you whistle after a while. And a lot of times people will stop me and say, are you really that happy? And I'll say, yeah. And, uh, time's offered to tell them why. But you know, even science knows the value of, of whistling, and maybe you don't whistle, maybe you just smile, which that's a good way too. But you look at it and people realize, as science has told them, that if you do, like that old saying says, just turn that frown upside down, that there's benefit to it. Studies have shown that it relieves anxiety, helps us to cope with stress, helps us to deal with our worries, and it helps other people too. Have you ever noticed if you are smiling or whistling, others might start up around you? You know, we influence others by that. But sometimes people look and they say, well, what have I got to smile about? You know, we look and we see all the bad things. And why, why should I smile? Well, let me give you a few things. Glad you asked. In the book of Acts, the eighth chapter, you find uh, the account of the conversion of the Ethiopian eunuch. He was a sincere man, but he is wrong. He'd been on his way to, he was on his way back rather from Jerusalem where he'd gone to worship. But as he was traveling along, he was studying the word of God in the book of Isaiah and God sent Philip to him and Philip asked him, said, understandest thou what thou readest? Well, the eunuch said, how can I accept some man guide me? Well, Philip began at that point and taught unto him Jesus. Well, the man obviously understood what it meant to truly preach Jesus because they came and he said, here is water, what intend of me to be baptized? Well, the eunuch uh, was told then, if thou believest thou mayest, and he made that good confession, they went into the water and he was baptized, and it was then that though Philip was taken away, the eunuch went on his way rejoicing. You a child of God? Have you, like the eunuch, been baptized? As the Lord said, to be saved, Mark 16 and 16, to be added to the church, Acts 2, 38 through 37, or 247. I mean, if that's you, what, why can't we rejoice? Whistle a little bit, smile a little bit. And then as you go through life, you, you think, well, it doesn't always work out well being a Christian. You live that life, and some people get upset. They don't like it. They even talk against you. You know, the Lord said in Matthew, the fifth chapter, verse 11 and 12, he said, Blessed are you when men shall revile you, shall persecute you, shall say all manner of evil against you for falsely for my name's sake. You know what he said to do? He said, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. You see, I'm doing right. Sometimes the world doesn't like it, but I know I'm on the narrow path that leads to eternal life, so I'm happy. I'm rejoicing. And maybe I'll make a difference in their life. Maybe they think about it a little bit later on. We never know what influence we can have. And then sometimes we think we're all alone, and then we really think about it, and we think, no, we're not. The Apostle Paul, you know, in the Philippian letter, he was in jail, and yet he told individuals over and over, rejoice. But he himself, in verse 10 of chapter 4, said that he rejoiced in the Lord greatly. Why? Because their care of him had flourished. You have people who cares for you? That love you? Sure you do. If you think you don't, I do. I love you, I care for you. But there's more than that, of course. God loves us, his care for us, his protection of us. The psalmist said in Psalm 5, verse 11 and 12, Let all those who put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them shout for joy. Why? Because thou defendest them. Paul said similar things in the book of Romans, the 8th chapter. He said, If God be for us, 
Who can be against us? In other words, my God and I, we, we are victorious. Revelation 17 and verse 14 tells us that so strongly. But then he goes on and he, he tells us not everything's going to be good, but he says, all things work together for good to them who love God and are the called according to his purpose. It's going to work out. You know, I go through life, I face struggles, I face trials. I know this may be hard, but it's going to be okay. So I keep on whistling. I keep on smiling. I do it and I, I know I'm a child of God. Though the world may not like what I do as I walk in the light as he is in the light, I'm going to keep walking because that's the road to heaven. So I keep on smiling. I keep on whistling. I know that there are those who do care about me and love me and want to help me. So I keep on smiling. I keep on whistling. And I know everything's going to be okay. God said so. Keep whistling. Keep smiling. What a wonderful life it is. And yeah... Maybe you'll have people ask you too, you really that happy? Just tell them, sure am, and then tell them why. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming. Also, we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time. More information can be found on our website at the link below. Thank you.